And we're learning new details about the suspect's background with guns and about potential warning signs before last night's shooting. Sam Brock is in the suspect's hometown. Sam, what have you learned today? Lester, law enforcement says a gun was found in that white Subaru. They are looking right now to see if it's the same weapon that was used in the mass shooting, as we are hearing from the Cart family, who says that they alerted authorities that this is someone who needed help. In Robert Card's hometown of Bowdoin, Maine, area-wide shock. It's mind-blowing. Everything about it is, it's unbelievable. I mean, why this is going on and why this happened. Even as the suspect's own family reveals chilling details about the decades-long Army reservist. His sister-in-law telling NBC News they alerted police and military officials that Card was experiencing an acute mental health episode in the months before Wednesday's massacre, saying he'd been fitted for high-powered hearing aids a couple of months ago and was picking up voices that he had never heard. His mind was twisting them around. The family concerned about the mental state of someone who performs gun training. And with what we did, meeting him and the way that he showed us how to use a weapon, and then smart. He's really smart. And he's tactical. Former Army Reservist Phil Gregory says he learned how to use an M16 rifle from CARD. They weren't in the same unit, but the 40-year-old left an impression on Gregory. He knows warfare. He understands it. He may not have ever been deployed, but he's smart. He knows what to do. I think they need the soldiers, to be honest with you, to be here. I really do. The assault rifle, believed to be the one used to massacre and maim at least 30 people, was purchased legally in 2023, according to two senior law enforcement officials briefed on the matter. And officials tell NBC News Card threatened a military base and was sent by his own commanders to a mental health care facility for two weeks of psychiatric treatment in July. How could someone that fits that profile still be in possession of semi-automatic weapons? Well, I do think that the statutes around firearms and the possession of those are pretty complex. I know that we'll, we will be reviewing that information as we move forward. Back in Bowdoin, where Cart's family has owned land for generations, childhood neighbor Richard Goddard is blindsided. No one would have seen this coming. Never. Never expected anything like this to happen here. Sam Brock, NBC News, Bowdoin, Maine. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.